Hey guys, it is day two of our adventure here, Tuesday morning. Yesterday was an incredibly long day. We didn't leave until after dark. We're a little sore, but we're ready to go on to Texas. We're gonna be loading up in the aircraft here soon and getting going. Boy, we ran into a lot of challenges yesterday. Some of them we knew about, but many others, we just didn't know what we're getting into. But the great thing is we worked together, we figured it out, we got everything adjusted. We were able to test everything working and Mike is gonna be ready to see it here in just a few short days. Anyway, it's time to pack up. We're heading to the airport. We're gonna be flying out here in just a few short minutes. Hey, Dean. Hi. How was the flight? Excellent. Thank you. They say any landing that you walk away from was a good one. That's right. Well, we made it. We're at our second location, second stop here. So we're going to get loaded up and work on a new Holland air seater. Howdy. We made it. Here's the air seater we're going to be working on today. New Holland. So this is a hoe drill and a 430 bushel air cart here made by New Holland. Flex skull case, all the same. And just a lot of issues with the electrical, the drive motors, all that stuff. Corey's just ready to be done with it. He wants it all replaced. We're gonna do a Johnny Ray controller. Our hydraulic drive system, it's gonna be a really nice setup. And we're gonna get started on here pretty quick. This looks a little familiar, doesn't yeah, it, Chuck? Yeah, deja vu. Deja vu. <laughs> Spent a lot of hours under one of these here just yesterday. <laughs> so you're ready to get rid of all the problematic wiring and let's do it. Controls and drives? Yes, please. Alright. <laughs> let's get this headache over with. Use all our parts. Hey guys, we're just getting started here. We've got all the parts laid out for our hydraulic drive system. Dean and Chuck are getting started on the camera kits that we're gonna be putting in all three tanks. Uh, the guys here are taking off the old OEM hydraulic motor sets. Get those out of the way and we're gonna be sub-assembling these. And all these pretty parts are gonna be going right back on this card here. Chipping away really well here. I'm on my third hydraulic drive sub assembly. Chuck over here is mounting the second one. How's it going, Chuck? It's going excellent. Good deal. We got the first one off up here. We just got a speed sensor in here. Everything's going really well. Up here, Dean is chipping away on the camera kits. How's it going, Dean? Very good. Let's take a look here where we got them going into the tanks. So they come up the cart here and then come down and we got these gland seals so they pop in right here let's pop open the tank lid and we got the camera right here so you can see right down in the tank while you're seating Quick update here, it is almost noon. The temperature is rising. It's getting pretty hot in here, but thankful to be in the shade. We have got all the hydraulic drive sub assemblies in. We've been running all the wiring here, running it all up to here. We're gonna get it all connected and looped up in here and secure. So it's nice and clean. And we're also routing along the cart frame and the drill frame up through here. That way, out of the way, free of snags, stuff like that. Something a little different here that we're trying is there were some inline micro filters here. We're gonna be 
actually trying these, keeping them in line before the PWM valve. It's really important, guys, to make sure that the cleanliness is really good going through those PWM valves. They're very sensitive to any contaminants. It can actually cause premature wear and leaking even while the machine isn't supposed to be running. So it's just really important, certain level of microns, making sure the oil is really clean. Guys are over here stretching all the camera cables. Those are the ones that are gonna run across the drill. And I'm gonna jump up with Corey here in the tractor soon and we're gonna start configuring the actual rake controller in the back here. Well, Corey, you ready to configure the rake controller? Let's go hook it up, let's do it, man. All right, let's go. So you saw the rate controller dry show up, so that's good. That's a good sign. Going to implement setup here. It was on. Foot switch turned off. Okay. So now we're going to implement setup, implement type, air cart. All right, we got that all configured, and guess what? It is lunchtime. And what do you do in Texas? You find a steakhouse, because they're everywhere down here, and they are good. So we're going to hit a steakhouse here for lunch, get back here, run the hydraulics, and actually run the system. We're all set up with the settings, and we're ready to test it out when we get back. It must be difficult to restrain yourself from coming here a lot. I'll tell you what, that old wind starts blowing out of the south. Oh. You better not be on a diet. You can smell that grease and that garlic <laughs> over there at the shop. It's pretty, pretty dangerous. Wow! Look at that steak. Woo. And we just got back. It was amazing food. The steak was humongous. So good. Now though, we are ready to test the system and put some hydraulic flow here, and let's check to make sure everything works and then we don't have any leaks yep it's working all right now i can put the jam nut on i don't think you're gonna need a jam nut on this one yeah all right corey Everything's tight, everything's good. We can now turn the hydraulics on again. Works. Sweet. Hey guys, it is the end of Wednesday and we finished our hydraulic drive camera install for Corey and it was great to get to know him and his family. We're just so grateful to, to be able to meet these guys down here in Texas. Had a great time, had a little fun last night. Found a coyote, shot at it. Maybe we'll get another one here later, but we had a great time. It was great meeting you, Corey. Jesse, it's great having y'all guys. We sure appreciate all the help and look forward to a successful seeding season here pretty quick. I can't Ab say enough. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. So we're on our way to the next stop in Texas, and we'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs>